in our last interview, you brought up a guy named Brubra. And the comments went crazy, and they were kind of mad at me because I didn't ask you more about Brubra. Now, is, is there any more incidents, or is there anything you can say about that dude for the, uh, for the fans? I ain't going to lie. Before Brubra got on that, on that op, shorty your little ass you, used to be through our sh on bro. You know, his sister used to f with our big homie and sh So you know how that shit go. I'm my daddy, but shorty your last was the loose cat. I'm, I'm shooting dice in the court, wait. That's like 2,000, mother Six, we in the court, wait, shooting dice. No, no, this is like 2007. Yeah, because Dalvin had just died. Brubra had a white colors on my daddy. We, we out there shooting dice. Oh, two, they, they pull up, him and some other little nigga. But I ended up finding out who the other little nigga is later on down in life. Uh, little B.A. My dad, they pull up, hop out on us. We all out there shooting like that. It's this nigga, it's this nigga that ain't big country. Uh, it, he be on, he be on King Drive. He be on, he, be out there on, uh, what the fuck shorty them call themselves? Cyber Squad. He be out there in Cyber Squad, 1017 Blow Line. <sighs> on my daddy. Nah. Big country. On my, on my sister, nah. They script the nigga asshole naked on tooth grade. Rob, they robbed all us though. Oh my dear. They put they robbed everybody. Oh my dear, they robbed the whole dice game. Oh took I was I, and I I just hit somebody, I just hit a crib. So I just hit, sold my little flash screens and shit. Fuck it, got a little money and they pop off to go to the dice game. Oh my daddy go to the dice game and get robbed. Salty. Blue. I end up seeing brother like 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 two weeks later. He uh he come and get his sister Tanil from off the block. He hey little butter bitch. I'm like, what's up, boy? He hey boy, you want your little hundred dollars back, boy? Oh my daddy, let me, let me get that back. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, he robbed our stupid ass. So okay, so he so dude had like a really really wild reputation. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, they was asking about him, man. You know, I guess he has a. A pretty big reputation within the drill community. I ain't going to lie. Shorty, he, Shorty going to always have a notorious ass name. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, look. I'm not a hater. And I get niggas, they credit when it's dope. So if you did some shit and you said some shit and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that shit, that's true. That was gangsta. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker got to get nigga credit when it's dope. And a lot of people don't understand that. People be hating so hard that I'm fucking, I don't even give you the credit. So, but look, so this this real nigga one on one, he got my credit to bruh, bruh. He was, yeah, my sister shorty ass acting crazy. And I ain't talking about little bruh for fucking 71st. We ain't talking about the little niggas, fuck. We talking about the real bruh, bruh, for 4'6. I'm on daddy. Uh, did you hear about that rapper Gnu who died a few months ago? Who? His name was Gnu. Uh, he was out of. You say what? Yeah, very oh, dude, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, a Mary, with the whole yeah. Mary fit on. Yeah. They they buried him standing up. He's performing this shit at the club. Yeah, they had the video of him in the club. Oh my dear, that shit was some scary shit. But that shit was raw. People was creative as hell in this new generation. Oh, folks, great. Did have y'all ever think that y'all uh, experienced somebody fucking frontal with being at a club? A motherfucker. Fuck that. Have y'all ever think that y'all will see a motherfucker dead standing up for their funeral service? Motherfuckers. I've never seen that. I didn't even think that shit was possible. But yeah, that shit was raw. That was that that shit was and they spent some money. They had some money. My dead. He ain't that broke. What was your first reaction when you seen it? D folks crazy as hell, man. These, I, I, I saw that shit. I'm like, these people crazy. But that, that's one hell of a, that's a front rule that a motherfucker had to be there in order to like, I, I, I would have had to be there to really sit down and have this conversation because that experience is something amazing. Not only am I seeing my dog go away for the last time, but we in this bitch having a ball with my dog for the last time. That's one think if you really think about it, that's one hell of an experience to experience. Like then it's my last time kicking it with my homie. For my homie funeral, 
We was in the club for his shit. We threw a party, it was a going away party. That, that's basically what they did. They threw him a, a going away gathering. And he went out. That shit gonna always be talked about. Because ain't nobody never thought about doing They didn't do no shit like that for Fluky Stokes. Fluky Stokes got buried in his motherfucking Cadillac. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you knew somebody who got buried in a Cadillac? Fluky Stokes. You don't know about Fluky Stokes, man? I don't. Oh, my dear. Look. <laughs> Fluky Stokes. Like, well, Fluky Stokes is a pimp from out west, right, folks? Huh. Yeah, I think Fluky. Yeah, yeah, man, Fluky Stokes. The man was, but they say he had a lot of money and shit. So I'm just going to tell us what I, what I think I know. You know what I'm saying? They say Fluky Stokes is a pimp from out west who, was, who had a lot of money. I think he died in his Cadillac, and then they buried him in his same Cadillac. They they got his Cadillac turned into a casket, if I'm not mistaken. That shit, that that that, it, that was some gay that you know that was some gangster shit. Oh my daddy, fuck still talking about Fluky Stokes right now. The nigga got buried in his car. So you know my fuck gonna be talking about that. That nigga was standing up at his front at a club. That one hell of an experience, the experience, man. Wish we could have thought of some shit like that. He had a ball with four of them before they left. We had hoes in that bitch, sucking four of them dick and everything. Suck that dead dick, bitch. Oh, my dead. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a going away present. Go huh? ahead, bless him. You know you love him anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> no, we can't do no shit like that for our homie. Them phone them, phone them head, to, that phone them hoes ratchet as hell. Why well, did they didn't, they didn't fuck around? Knock folks over in that bitch. We didn't have, we been had to beat a bitch ass in that bitch. <laughs> they didn't fuck around, drop folks in that bitch. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy, man. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 school, hey, young school, hey. You know how them parties be, right, folk? Motherfuckers barely be able to move around in that bitch on my daddy. So you got you, you got to think about it. If motherfuckers do a funeral service like that, folk, we motherfuckers been in that bitch fighting. Y'all to knock folks over in this bitch. Watch out, y'all tweak it. <laughs> Bring a little sissy helmet to the situation, oh bro.